touch signals. While you might already be familiar with touch signals, this video will cover the basics. There are two important reasons why touch signals are used in the deafblind community. The first being that touch is extremely valued by the deafblind community. Second, touch signals are a way to communicate visual and environmental information without interrupting conversation. Here are two examples of touch signals. That touch signal represents laughing. Don't worry, I'll explain more later. Here is the second example. Now let's get back to the first example of me scratching the back of the other person. That scratching represents laughter. Just to put everything in perspective, let's say that a deafblind presenter told a joke in their presentation. In order to inform the presenter that their joke was received and the audience was laughing, I could simply scratch their back. This avoids having to reach for their hand and interrupt their presentation while simultaneously relaying environmental information. In the second example, I tap the back of the other person's hand with my index finger. That tapping motion could be compared to a head nod or a mm-hmm. That tap shows that I'm engaged in the conversation. It's a way to show that I'm not distracted or waning from the conversation. There are two words that you need to be familiar with that fall under the umbrella of touch signals. The first is haptics, signed haptics. To give you a clear idea of what haptics is, we pull the definition from their website. It reads, haptics is a communication tool that consists of signs and signals given by touch that can describe surroundings, people, reactions, and emotions. For more information, please visit their website, which you can find by googling hapti-co. The second word you need to be familiar with is protactile, signed P-T. This movement was developed in Seattle, Washington. We took the following definition from their Facebook page titled, Protactile, colon, the deafblind way. Their definition reads, Protactile is the socio-cultural philosophy currently shaping all deafblind practices, including linguistics, interpersonal, and politics. For more information, please visit their Facebook page titled Protactile, colon, the deafblind way, or refer to their website.